Hi friends, welcome to Krishna's Tech Info. In this video we can see how to install KVM on CentOS or Red Hat Linux 8. KVM is an open source and standard virtualization solution which is tightly integrated into Linux. It is a loadable kernel module that turns the Linux into a type 1 hypervisor which creates a virtual operating platform used to run the virtual machines. Under KVM, each VM is a Linux process which is scheduled and managed by the kernel and has a private virtualized hardware and it also supports the nested virtualization which allows you to run a virtual machine inside another virtual machine. So now we can see the installation of KVM on CentOS 8 or Red Hat Linux 8. Before installing the KVM, we can see how to set up the cockpit web console on CentOS 8. The cockpit is an easy to use integrated and extendable web-based interface to administer the Linux servers in a web browser. You can perform tasks such as configuring networks, administering storage, creating VMs, etc. So now we can see this installation. You can run this tnf install cockpit cockpit machines command to install this. Now give us to download and install the packages. This will take some time. Now give us to import the GPG key. Now the cockpit installation is completed. Now we can start this cockpit service using the systemctl command. And now we can enable this service to start at boot. Now we can check the status of this service. Now it is started. Next we can allow this service in firewall using the firewall cmd command. It's already enabled. Now we can reload this firewall cmd. Now we can access the cockpit web console in the browser using the IP with the port number 9090. The IP address is 192.168.1.9. So I'm going to access it to the port number 9090 192.168.1.9 colon 9090 I can see the warning can give advanced and click accept the risk and continue now you can see the login page you can use your system user credentials to login now click login now we are successfully logged into the cockpit web console now we can install the kvm virtualization so we can use the command dnf module install bridge now give us to download and install the package now this package installation is completed next we can install the bridge install and bridge viewer and give us to download and install the package. Now the bridge viewer installation is completed. Next we can run the bridge host validate command to validate if the host machine is set up to run the libbridge hypervisor drivers. The command is bridge host validate. Now we can see the host machine has the setup to run the libbridge hypervisor drivers. Now we can start the libbridge.t.service using the systemctl command. systemctl start libbridge d.service. Now we can enable this service. And now we can check the status. Now it is started. Next we can see how to set up the network bridge using the cockpit console open the console here you can click the networking option and click add bridge now we can enter the bridge name i'm going to give it as br0 and you can select the port as cns33 which is our ethernet port now click apply now we can see the new bridge Ethernet port is available here. Now we can add your virtual machines in KVM. 
and manage it using this cockpit web console. In this video we saw how to install KVM on CentOS 8 or Red Hat Linux 8. Thanks for watching this video. Post your comments and suggestions. Please share and subscribe to my channel. Press the bell button to get instant notifications on my videos. You can follow me on this Instagram ID and Facebook page. For any queries you can reach me on this Skype ID.